Hi guys, I uh, thought you might be interested to see this. Uh, this is a project that I'm working on to put a, a Mr. FPGA or DE10 Nano uh, into an Amiga 500 case. Actually, an Amiga 500 Plus case, but it's basically the same. Okay, so I'll give you a quick walkthrough. I'm doing it now uh, before I put the lid on because uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a pain to keep taking it apart. Okay, uh, so let's start over here. So we've got an Amiga 500 keyboard, and that's connecting via this Arduino Leonardo interface just here. And out the other side, we've got a USB connection, which is running all the way around to this USB interface going into the, uh, the Mr. FPGA. And we've also got a couple of uh, 9-pin D-type connectors. Uh, these are actually joystick interfaces and they're connected via USB and they come into these two ports on the Mr. FPGA. And, no, I lie. These two ports on the Mr. FPGA actually. And then we've got our audio connections. So two RCAs just here. So they <laughs> come round the spaghetti and get converted to three and a half mil jack which is going into the Mr. FPGA just there. Okay we're not currently using the VGA output uh, mainly because I've kind of run out of ports uh, but I might connect that later. So I'm also connecting two USB connections straight into the Mr. FPGA just here, so they're presented on the back. And we've got our HDMI connection here, going into the HDMI connector on the Mr. Okay, and, and yeah, that's pretty much everything. And then we've got our power coming in here, and I'll show you the connections around the back in a second. Okay, and that's coming in, feeding a splitter, you can see here, into the splitter, and that's feeding the Mr. D10 Nano, and also the, uh, the USB hub. What else have we got? So we've got our Wi-Fi dongle here, and our Bluetooth dongle here. And in terms of the connectivity, that's pretty much everything. Um, I am going to add another USB interface, or at least that's the plan. I'm kind of running out of USB connections, or I have already, because the one around the front, unfortunately, I can't get to. So I might have to put a, a little two-port hub in, something like one of these, but preferably a little lower profile. Um, to connect uh, another USB interface to go where the floppy drive would have been, um, which will then kind of simulate a GoTek. Uh, I'm not going to put in an actual real floppy drive because it's uh, it's not really a supported option at the, at the moment, um, but maybe we'll have a rethink. So if we put in the other USB uh, for the simulated GoTek, then the Leonardo or Arduino is going to have to move. But fortunately, because it's quite low, I can probably just mount it over on the, um, the panel here. But we'll see. It'll probably actually, with a, a couple of um, insulating standoffs, even mount on the back of the keyboard if I needed to. Well, that's pretty much what we've got for now. If we have a quick look around the back, I can actually get to it. So here we can see our two DB9 connections for the joysticks. Unfortunately, they can only be used for joysticks, not mice, because um, the Amiga mouse is kind of a, a law unto itself. It's not, um, it's not serial, uh, and it's certainly not USB. So we'll just work our way across. So we've got our RCA connections for the audio, which get converted if required to three and a half mil again. Um, depending on what you're connecting it to. Okay, we've got our two 
USBs there, so they can obviously be used for anything. Um, USB mouse, USB joystick, uh, if, if you don't want to use the DB9s, uh, whatever, or a USB stick. And I'll, I'll do a, another section or another part to this video that walks you through the, uh, the build, specifically the Amiga build, but also some of the other cores uh, that will run on the Mister. The next port up, um, Mark Parallel port, that's actually not going to be used now, so I'll put a fresh blanking cover on that, so that's, that's not going to be seen. The next one up was originally going to be used for uh, USB-C in the event that I put a Pi in here, which was another option, but again, I'll tidy that up because I've slightly damaged the uh, the case, unfortunately, but it's only minor, and I'm never going to use this case for anything else. So again, I'll put a, a blanking plate on top of that, cover it up. And then we've got our HDMI there, and then right at the end, we've got our barrel connector for our power, five volts in. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, obviously, some of these um, USB cables are uh, a little longer than they really need to be, but, um, but that's what they came with, um, and that's what I've got in my, my stock. So, uh, so that's what we're using. Let me just show you one other thing. So you'll see that we've got the, um, the ports here are actually 3D printed. Um, now the template for that, uh, thanks to the guy that designed it, is readily available. So uh, that's free for anyone to download and print off themselves. Uh, I had a, a chap um, I found on eBay that, uh, that printed them off for me. Now they were, very very slightly out but um but with a few little tweaks here and there uh they've, they've gone pretty well actually so there you go that's pretty much the guts of it and i'm going to pop the keyboard and the uh, the cover back on um make sure it all works and then i'll do another part to this video okay and here's the uh completed machine uh in in the case with the lid on and you can see there you go, there's the uh, the backdrop and the menu for uh, for the mister. Um, I've programmed it or configured the uh, the keyboard mapping so that the help key on the keyboard brings up the menu and obviously within a core uh, maker who or whatever it happens to be pressing the uh, the help key will get you into the menu. Okay, so give it one quick test so we'll just show you this actually if I go and have a look there you can see that the um, the Wi-Fi is connected okay and let's just show you one call running obvious one's going to be the Amiga okay now one thing I haven't done yet is hooked up the, uh, the drive LED, so I'm going to have to run another cable for that. I'll probably uh, probably do that when I get around to putting in the uh, additional USB for the simulated GoTech. Okay, and up it comes, and uh, we've got, I don't know if you saw that flash up quickly, but uh, we've got our PPP there uh, using Roadshow for our IP stack, so we can get out onto the internet with it, uh, albeit not exceptionally quickly, but it, it should work. Okay, there we go. And there's Amir coming up. Uh, it's never going to be lightning speed because uh, it's going out through the PPP listener on the underlying Linux host. But if you just want to grab some uh, LHA files or something, it's fine. Inline images will actually load up eventually but let's just show you this so sysinfo okay we'll do a quick speed test now it's running on the FPGA so it's going to be near native speed to however it's configured in this case it is actually configured with a 68020 and no FPU so that's correct and it's reporting 0.71 times the speed of a, an A4000 or a 68040. If we compare it to a 1200, 10.77 uh, times the speed of a 1200. Yeah, it's pretty respectable. And I'd say that's about right in this case from, from using it. it. Seems to be about right. Okay, so 
here, see we've got the uh, the icon for Mister. Now that's currently mapped to a share uh, on the SD card, but that could easily be mapped to a USB stick. It's just a simple case of changing the Mister.ini file. So I may do that once I've added the uh, simulated GoTech, i.e. the additional USB port. Uh, let's see what else there is to show you. So, Dopus. Okay, look what I've got to share. There you go. So yeah, providing access to USB ports, um, really straightforward. And that can be for uh, file access as well as ADF access. And if we have a quick look at iGame, So being a 68020, it will run iGame. And if we just drag that window out a little bit. Okay, and the acid test, will it run state of the art? Sorry about the camera work. I'm just holding my phone free hand away. So no problem at all with state of the art and uh, you can pretty much guarantee all the games are going to work. We just fire up something old like Juggler. Okay, there we go. That's working fine. So let's just come out of our game. And if I go into the Mr. Core menu, I'll just show you how this is set up. So there you go. So I've got four drives for system. I'm currently running um, Amiga OS 314 on this. Okay, and we've got the machine set up as a 68020, two megs of chip, eight megs of fast RAM. Okay, is there anything else to show you? Not really, I'll show you the video settings. So it's set up for PAL, uh, using the uh, scan doubler HQ2X, uh, blank plus to get rid of as much blank space as I can. Obviously I'm running this in a 16-9 aspect ratio. Okay, running full screen, adaptive, and that's about it at the moment. So, really quickly, I will show you accessing one more core. So, obviously the party trick, even though it looks like an Amiga and it feels like an Amiga, basically is an Amiga, unless you're a purist, but, you know, to all intent and purpose. Let's fire up the Archie core. Voila. And now it's an Archimedes. Okay, let's just make sure. There we go. I won't show you any more on there, but you get the idea. So, and if we don't want it to be an Archie anymore, we want it to be something else. We need to use the option key on some cores. Okay, and we'll do one more core. So let's have a look at, I don't know. C64. Voila. Blue always comes out a bit weird. It looks fine on the screen, but on the uh, on the camera, it comes out very blue. It's obviously just a filtering thing. Okay. So that's it. Obviously, there's loads more calls on there. Which will be a QL if we want to be.
go. And now it's a QL. So there's my uh, other FPGA uh, mister. Uh, it's exactly the same as that. There is no difference uh, in terms of the kit that we're using. The only difference is it's in an Amiga 500 plus case. Um, and obviously it's using an Amiga keyboard instead of a, a standard ISO keyboard or whatever. Um, but yeah, in terms of the way it operates, absolutely no difference, except I've added on the uh, the extra few D, um, DB9 uh, connectors. Hopefully uh, that was of some interest and uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas uh, if you want to have a crack at it uh, yourself. All right, thanks guys. Cheers for now.